Well, back in Ingham Valley, 28th of June, and it must be about 28 degrees. It's absolutely scorching. Lovely a cloud in the sky. Little bit of a breeze, not much though. Uh, so, we're going to do a high level route today. We're going to go up uh, High Cantle. Oops. It's a High Cantle, uh, Coombe Fell, and then hopefully Wild Camp on Hedge Hope. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some water somewhere along the, on the way. Because uh, it's a high level route, like it, there's not many streams up there, so we just have to wait and see. I mean, I've got two litres on us, but I don't think that's going to be near enough. Not with cooking as well. Fortunately, yeah, the food I've got, I can eat cold if uh, if I need to. So, you've probably seen it all before. Alnum Farm down there. And we're just headed down to uh, Linapus Estate, uh, where the lodge is. Uh, you got Cunyon Crags over there and Dunmore. Anyway, what we're going to do is go round Ritto Hill uh, and up onto High Cantle and then along. So, uh, yeah. Got the Factor 50 on. So, uh, there's a lot of people here, it's, I mean it's a Thursday, not in school holidays or anything like that and uh, these are people that'll be heading for uh, Linup Spout, I would imagine. So anyway, bring you back in a bit. Right, well we can see the objective for today behind me there. Uh, on that side we've got hedge up that's just see the edge of three stone burn wood up there um lip spouts over there come fells over here so basically we're going to go up high cantle up here follow it round there's a fence line we we'll follow all the way to the top up there seven miles and that's back down down the valley where we come from don't know if you can see Hartside from here no you can't but anyway that's it and thankfully there's a bit of a breeze because I'm absolutely sweating my bits off it's absolutely scorching a few more clouds but Anyway, just had a bit of drink. Definitely gonna have to find some water because <laughs> I don't think I've got enough. Two litres isn't gonna be enough. I've already sweated out about <laughs> ten litres. I might have had a, had a load of drinks before I came because I knew I was gonna be thirsty, so uh, I drunk a good couple of litres of water. Done more hill there. Right, anyway, I want to crack on. We'll get a better view of the uh, of the valley over the other side. I was down there on my mountain bike uh, not so long back. Um, high high bleak up and low bleak up uh, around the other side of Shilmore. Right, anyway, I want to crack on. Right, we're at High Cannon now. So it, looking down, uh, local leak up just down here, uh, bloody bush edge, Lintland, Lintland, no, Lintlands, that must be Cushet Law, bloody bush edge, yeah, uh, we're heading round to here, 
hedge up. So we're going to go up here around Kunfell. I was just down here the other day on this this track down here, down to that hut, and then up in the, in the dip in there. Over that way is uh, uh, Davison's Lynn. And there's the Salters Road. Going up there, came back that way. Ogden Law, Shilmore, uh, Dunmore, and Standoff, Great Standoff. So, yeah. Border Ridge, right over there. Achieve it behind. So, yeah, lovely. Right, what we're going to do is follow this fence line all the way down, up, round, and along there. Now, hopefully, up there, I'll be able to pick up a stream or something and top up my water. But we'll have to wait and see. Right, we're at uh, Shield Clough Edge now. Can't see much. Uh, just come from over there. We're going to follow the fence line down and around and up and over. Up to hitch up up there. So we're just opposite stand drop there. It's great stand drop. Done more. scorching. Thankfully there's a bit of a breeze up here so yeah um, I'd like to do this in the, in the wet mine because I mean there's no moisture up here at all it's, I've eaten, even the bogs are dried out but so, if you have a look at these bogs here I mean that's what you'd be plodging through just pure peat Right out. It looks like smoke over there. Uh, I don't know if they're uh, on the ranges. So hopefully, it's not a peat fire. And some more over there as well. to go up. That saddle worth more that's uh, going on at the minute. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. Anyway, right so we're going to follow this fence line down, around, up there, that cairn up there and then just follow the ridge along. Right I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, well, just uh, come up to Kumfell. Achieve it in the background there. Uh, nice bit of breeze, thank God. As you can see, there's still, still scorch out. Oh, beautiful. Achieve it there. So you wouldn't want to do this walk in the in the wet. It's an abs It's probably what the Chivit would have been like before they put the stones down. The the paving slabs. It's just peat hog after peat hog, and I mean, it's just a nightmare. Right. Well, that's our ultimate destination there. Put the camera down a bit. There we go, we've got a uh, hedge up, up ahead, a bit of a climb to get to it. There's a Heart Oak Valley down there. Oh, Preston Hill, Broad Hope. Oh, there's Cold Law there. It's basically, we've just come in a big circle, we've just 
down the valley that valley all the way around and up over this one anyway as I say look at this it's just I mean if this was uh, if there'd been any rain at all you'd just be up to your elbows and clots anyway looking out towards the North Sea there back over towards the coast uh, of Bionic South Charlton he probably won't pick it out but you can see all the uh, the wind farm Buick Mall around by there Right, Ooh, looks a bit of a pull up there. Right, let's see when we get up there. Right, well, here we go, catch up. If you are towards the coast there, and the heart of valley, keep it, pardon me, all the way where we came, down there. So, some brilliant wasps around here. And if there's a nest in there somewhere, yeah, I think there might be. Blooming flies, look there. I think there might be a wasp nest. Yeah, there definitely is. There's a lot of wasps around there. And it flies as well. Let's have a look over here. <coughs> yeah, it looks quite flat around here. No wind at all. Wait, it's like it's just little breezes. Another one of them, I don't know if it's a horse fly or whatever. Mm. Don't want to be getting pestered with them all night. Right, see if we can find a pitch. Need a bit of breeze, keep these flies away. Right, well that's it set up. This one behind us. And this is should I say. Flies. Wind's dropped again. Wait, it's never picked up like really. So there's no wind. So that's the set up. Uh, Quite an evening, and the fires are still going. Oh, might be on the news later on. So yeah, there's a trig point there. And more hill and just down there it's the valley there Ingram Valley yeah I hope the wind picks up a bit because I've got a feeling there might be a lot of midges are coming out I'll put some spray on but it doesn't seem to deter the flies like it's what 20 to 7 now 27 28 
with the three hours, three and a half hours of daylight. Mind you, this bright sun only keeps them, keeps them away, doesn't it? A few horse flies around, I've noticed. I'm going to get a bit more of one of those. I could have pitched over there, but as I say, there's a wasp nest just in in those rocks there, so... Uh, butterflies, big gang of butterflies. And there's a cheviot there, not often you see that uh, without a cloud on top of it. Fantastic, eh? Oh, Scotland over the border there. See for miles. Right, so I'm going to get some tea on. Everybody's going to be listening to the rugby, yeah, rugby, to the football. But I've uh, forgotten my earphones and that's the aerial for me radio player, so uh, I won't be listening to any football. Never mind. Right, get the tea on. Leaf flies. Nice. I've got that simmering for a couple of minutes now, so I'll pop in the pot uh, cosy and hopefully. We cook through. I would have wasted too much water because I can make a brew out of that. There we go. Leave that to heat through. Just seen a bloke. Just. Uh, I don't know which way he came up with, well he came up from that way, so maybe he's come up from, uh, well he's obviously come up from the Heart Oak Valley, and he went off back down that way, so. Oh, them fires are still going strong. A lot of aircraft, so I wonder if, uh, there's an exercise on. You can see the smoke's going all the way across to there. That one there looks, looks like it's on a big area. Anyway, you can probably hear the flies buzzing around. That's because the wind's non-existent and we're just going to have a sit on that stile over there and eat my bait. Hopefully the blooming flies will keep it away from us. It's not the flies it's, I'm worried about, it's the blooming horse flies. I've seen a few landing around the tent like. Anyway, right. Get this eaten. There's one of the little things there. Can you see it? On the tent. That's away now. Evil things. Look, it's back. Bitten by that. 